another thing. If you have to see something in your house that's not really for sure and you don't know what it is, take a guess at what it might be. Ask Brown, see if somebody had died in the house. If nobody had died in the house, then you'll know. But, what I highly recommend is checking it out. If that doesn't work, you might want to call in a priest. It sounds a little crazy, I know, but believe me, it worked. If you can just sanctify a house and cleanse the house, you may have some. You may be able to get rid of it. Whatever it is. If it's evil, it will take care of it. Nine out of ten times, it might not work. What you might want to try is doing something that you would never think about trying. Another thing, when you're doing an investigation, let that entity use your, you, your energy. You make a sound, make a noise, whatever you have to do, let it do it. You know, don't say, oh, I have something here, you really know. Look at your evidence completely. That way you'll know if you really have something or not. That way, if you're in a group, or you want to think about starting one, this way you'll know what to look for. When you look at all the evidence, look at every single piece of evidence that you can ever find. A piece of paper, a pen, pencil, whatever you have to have, leave it on the ground. That way you know if you can manipulate or not. If it moves, you got something. Oh, another thing you might want to try is something that heats up the area. Like, try something that in the whole cold spot, check that area. I can't remember, I don't know what the room temperature is, but if it's really hot and that area is really cold, then it's trying to manipulate an area. So try and do on that. You know, get like a heat gun or whatever it is that you can read off temperatures, try that. Another thing you might want to try, I know it's getting kind of long, kind of boring, I'm sorry, but the other thing you might want to try is talking to the owner of the area or the house or the apartment building, the hospital, whatever you want to go to or you want to prove, check that area out. Check to see if anybody died in the house or in the hospital. More, wherever you can go, check it out early. This way you'll know. Somebody says, oh yeah, this person, so and so died in this area. You'll know what to do. Oh, another thing I want to try going for is really listening very well with your ears. You know, a lot of things are just kind of like, hey, hi, how's it going? You know, they may make a noise for you, or just try not to miss them. Three times. And they do the snack thing thing three times. Ah. Then you got something for then you got um something for you. Go for that. Um if you guys think of anything, drop me a line and we'll go from there. Um oh hi um lighthouses, perfect. Um just go with it and just go through your gut instinct. I want to use psychic. I really wouldn't. You know, you never really know who's doing what to who. You know? So, you know, you can use them if you want to. That's, that's at your discretion. But don't. As I was saying before, you know, you can use psychics if you want to. But, yeah, I recommend using them. Only if they're in a certain area that you don't want to go into. That they may be able to pick something else up. That you may not be able to. Mediums, they're okay too. So I wouldn't recommend, I would recommend using a medium or a psychic or something that people may be able to pick up on that you may be missing out on. Another thing you might want to try is going for something that, like I said, read through the history, go through your camera commerce, anything you possibly do. Another thing you might want to try. Go through all of your, uh, all the records throughout the whole entire place to see what you got. Another thing you might want to try is talking to the owner of the house, as I said before, and maybe even try to get them to come with you. There's your clue right there. Maybe they may be able to help you with that, if not, uh, the idea that you might have. Try setting up a field where you know where the most activity is. And then you can go from there. 
Um, well, that's about it. All I think of really. Oh, and orbs take a lot of energy out of your stuff. So if you happen to have something with a lot of electricity, I would go with getting a lot more batteries. That way you don't have to worry about your stuff draining so fast. So you get a lot of batteries, a lot of power, and then that way you can investigate a lot more. So just try something that you're never going to try, and then just go from there. I hope that helps you guys out. Um, that's about it. But this is my EMF detector right here. Which stands for electromagnetic field. This is my EVT thing for capturing voice phenomenon. So, and this is the camera that I'm using, but you can't really tell because it's Sony. Sorry about that. But, I just thought I'd let you know, and it's a 1080p full HD camera. And it does have night shot, so we try something with night shot and that pay off. Majorly. So, um, and another thing you can do is talking to spirits as well. So, go from there. Hope I'll help you guys out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.